out. If you have questions and stuff during or after, let me know. And I hope you enjoy the action as we battle in this historical dice shooter. We did Battlefield 5 recently. I was like, yeah, you know, Battlefield 1 might be fun too. And that's why we're jumping into it and enjoying some intense action across, I don't know, we're doing the operations here first, because I think that's the big one that was part of Battlefield 1. And maybe we'll do some conquests later, because there's a number of conquest lobbies available. And as always, if you guys like to see different types of games streamed, let me know, and you know, we usually throw things into rotation and stuff like that. And I started it because I assumed we were loaded specifically right into the action, but that does not seem to be the case. Yep, it is taking its sweet time. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. What, did I join in between rounds or something like that? Be a real shocker. Well, it hasn't frozen yet. Oh, here we go. We'll join apples, I guess. Medic! You know, this game still really does look fantastic, like visually. It's right up there with Battlefield 5, that's for sure. <laughs> we lost? Does that mean the game is over? Because I literally just loaded into the game. Like, literally just loaded into it, as I'm sure people saw. Or is it like loading us into a new area? Is that is that how this works? Last attack, okay. Called the giant balloon. Okay, good. Because I was like, I literally just joined into that match and it ended. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, this should be fun. <gasps> I forgot about the bayonet charges. Ooh. Yeah, this is that one where the medics had like rifles, right? Hey. Oh, okay, there was a good shot in the back. I was like, how is that guy shoot me that fast? If I make your day every time I stream, that's nice. Are you putting this loss on me? Hey, I, I think if you play, uh... What, what, what is that game where it's like, lost saved because, you know, you join in late or whatever? I think this is one of the Call of Duties where it's like, lost saved. Yeah, no, I, I take full blame for this loss. Uh, I was, you know, I've always been the team motivator, so... I should have been there for the squad to make this happen. I'm glad you guys like like the streams and stuff though and find them fun. Always uh, always trying something a little bit different. Although I think I'm gonna have to f <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to find myself a different gun because I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to rifle it off. This is definitely a very different from Battlefield 5A gameplay wise. Yeah, it's, I, I think it's a little bit I don't know if you would say slower, but it's it's a different style. He's like giant trench holes here. Okay, so is this one where we had to... Yeah, okay, we still stab people to revive them. Got it. It's not like Battlefield 5 where you gotta, like, pick people up. Ow! Uh, grenade. This is not going to go well, is it? I knew I should've went with Battlefield 4. Nice night. Talk about. I guess I just gotta adapt my strategy. Not as much uh, run and gun and more like shoot back and rifle. Air shooting in and stuff. Yeah, I feel like I've entered an entirely different battlefield. Like visually, it looks very similar to Battlefield 5, at least I think so, but. You know, gunplay wise, it's a uh, very different sort of game. I wanna hit somebody with the bayonet charge tonight. That's That's my goal. So hopefully that uh, that can happen. I'm coming to save you. You're welcome. Okay, I got shot. That's not good. Oh, epic deaths. That's for sure. Of course, nobody's gonna revive me. That. What a shocker. Oh, can we spawn on the blimp? Oh, <gasps> guys, we're spawning on the blimp. Oh yeah. Does this do anything? Like, oh, I'm actually hitting somebody. I killed somebody? Is that what happened up here on the blimp? Damn. 
Hey, where are we shooting? I know this has got like the old biplanes and stuff. Where are they at? Oh, that's a friendly. That's a bad plane. Ow. Okay. This is kind of cool. I mean, I don't know how you spawn on top of a, a giant blimp in the air, but all the power to them. Just wait till the Indiana Jones comes out from Bethesda and they're gonna have like an epic blimp level from Last Crusade. It's gonna be sick. <laughs> blimp level! Actually, I think that's one of my favorite parts in Indiana Jones is when they're in the blimp and stuff. And... Ticket! Ticket! That guy didn't have his ticket. <laughs> and everybody's like rushes to get their tickets out. Because <laughs> he throws them out of the plane. God. Oh, I got killed out of the, the blimp. That's, that's disheartening. Okay. Oh, right. So where are we starting off? Should we try to get in the tank or something? Nah, we'll just do the people thingy. Let the vehicle driving be done by the professionals. Yeah. Now let's go in here. What are, we, what are we doing here? Are we slipping into the trenches? This game's also got, like, really incredible music. I, I don't know if you really notice the tune as much in Battlefield 5, but... Battlefield 1, this game's got some stellar, like, emotional music driving the conflict. Very interesting. That's a tank, I think. Hard to tell the old school tanks, but I'm pretty sure that is one. I could revive you! No, okay. Yes, I cannot revive that guy. What's my secondary? Oh, it's like a pistol. Should we go into the, the trenches here? Spooky. A med pack for you, my friends. Jeez. This is not a good situation to be in. Okay, well, just steal my revives. I mean, it's not like I'm a medic or anything. Oh, that's a... I, had, I didn't realize I had another grenade. That's pretty bad. We're holding this, I think. Is that an unfriendly grenade? I feel like we're defending for two sides. Yep, okay. No ticket. <laughs> oh, come on. That was, like, the best part in Indiana Jones. Where he's just like... Well, I mean, probably not the best part, but one of the funniest parts. That guy didn't have his ticket. I love when they do those gotcha moments in, uh, what the heck was that fence thing falling down there from? You know the gotcha moments in, in, like, movies and stuff? Like, it's not even a comedy Indiana Jones, but it's just, like, a really funny spot in the action, I thought was really... It was, it was cleverly done, that part. Very cleverly done. Okay, let's cap it. I think we're taking this position. <gasps> My friend, you've become a skull. Hey, that's a bad guy. That's why he became a skull. Was the guy shooting him? Well, he was on the ground there. It should be stellar, though. I hope this goes well. And I'm assuming this is the popular mode. If, if I'm incorrect, there, let me know, guys. Because I know there's conquest, and I assume that's the second most popular. But I think this was the one where people started getting into like the bigger operations things. And I am on fire. I am on fire, and not in a good way. I'm on bad fire. Oh, but it was the gas grenade that killed me. Not the fact that I was going up in flames. It was the poisonous gas. Oh. Huh. Always insightful. Let's let's maybe try to go for B, you know, up on the cliffs. I still think I'm being too aggressive though, because this is a slower slower bit of an advanced game. More trench warfare, but I will save your life, good sir. Is that a bad guy up there? Can't tell what's dead or alive on this battlefield. I think we're taking this position. There's a bad guy there, somebody shoot him. I thought the guy behind me was gonna shoot him. Nope, okay, how am I still alive? Oh, <gasps> grenade! Uh, oh, I thought I was going to get him with the charge, the bayonet there. Halo Night Oh, hello, Night Owls. Yeah, I'm thinking, uh, apparently starting next week, I'll be able to do some day streams. That means I'll have to get into day drinking. Ugh, you know, it's an intense slippery slope, I tell you, but 
yeah, I, I am hoping starting next week we'll be able to do some daytime streams, which I think will be good. And probably have a healthier kind of cycle for me work-wise and stuff, but we'll we'll see how that goes. Oh crap, that's grenade. Hello, good sir. I love their, like, cloak things. I always thought that would be a really cool kind of outfit to have. Something with a cape, you know, maybe a cloak. Holy! Although I feel like having a cloak in the mud here probably wasn't, like, the best idea, right? It makes you stand out to get shot. Everybody is on fire. Is there a way to make myself not on fire? That I would like to know. People are dying like crazy. <gasps> I love the body just... Do I have crutches? Oh, it's because I'm a medic. Why would I be carrying crutches, though? It's a weird... Like, that seems like an unnecessary weight to be lugging around on the top of a mountain, right? It's like if you're going rock climbing and you bring crutches along because you know one of you is going to shatter your leg or something. Jeez. It's crazy. Oh, Zaddy's here. Oh, John too. Hello, folks. Jumping in. Hello. I talk like a robot? I don't know. I feel like that would be pretty hard to do. Maybe I can get a role as the new Terminator. That would be good. I mean, Arnold has shown that's that's the type of role you can play for like 40 years or something. Ugh. I think it's like 40, right? The first Terminator like in the 80s or something? And Terminator 2 is like 90. Yeah, it's been around for a while. Does Battlefield 4 have active servers? Uh, yeah, you can still find people in Battlefield 4. I was actually considering doing that one, but uh, Battlefield 1 just kind of hit my head. I was actually watching a, a show that's on a Netflix that's not coming out yet. Oh, come on, just before this. And I was like, oh, wow, I gotta stop watching this and uh, get my stream in. So I, I'm kind of timing this time-wise to finish it stream-wise so that I can watch the rest of my show tonight. That would be ideal. Yep. Hello, folks. But yes, you you can do Battlefield, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do a Battlefield 4 stream. I mean, you can do Battlefield 4, and I'll be uh, doing a Battlefield 4 stream in the future, I think. I think that one would be fun. I, I bet there's like a Hurt Locker 24-7 or something that we can enjoy. Is that a bad guy? Or are these bad guys? What is happening here? There are too many people. I don't want to be where all these people are. Yeah, that's why you get shot. But not much, guys. And since it has been a while, you know, be sure to... Like the stream and everything so more people can check it out. And questions and stuff are great, and I hope you guys are ready for another act. Look at all those skulls! Jeez! Our team is uh, not advancing well over at B. I was kind of hoping while we were at B, A would have been kind of taken, but no, no. They are not, uh, they're not Liam Neeson, that's for sure. They are not taking that thing. Oh, jeez. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll probably do a Battlefield 4 stream in the near future here. I think that would be fun and just a big hurt lock or something on there. I th I'm pretty sure you can find big conquest ones. I mean, I even found people playing like Battlefield 3 and like Bad Company 2 not too long ago, so I, I would assume we would still be able to find a lobby in 4 pretty fine. But it gets harder every year, you know. It can be hard to do flashback video reviews and stuff uh, for the next gen console and the older Battlefield games and the community is to be dead. 64 players is a lot to field. There we go. That guy is floating in midair. He must be one of those witches they always talk about. You know, World War One. People were people were still into like witches, right? That was a thing back then. Witchcraft. Kingdom Hearts. I've played. Uh, I've played bits of Kingdom Hearts. I did a video on Kingdom Hearts three and. Uh, what was the other one? Uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, and I've got a video sitting there for Kingdom Hearts 2.8 or whatever. That video's awaiting a release date. It's been sitting there, actually, I think for two or three weeks now. Some of the videos, you know, they, they sit there in the schedule queue for, like, months. Like, that Predator video I've had sitting there, uh, you know, the Predator game on PS5. Yeah, I've had that footage sitting there for, like, three months or something since I, like, got the PlayStation. Just, like, waiting for its night to come out. Yeah, and then it got its time to shine. I think there's one Crimson Land. I think I had Crimson Land on there for three or four months, just kind of, just kind of chilling, waiting, waiting for its shot. Yeah. You know. But you know, it's that's the fun for scheduling videos. You do a bunch of videos, you get a bunch of videos scheduled, and then kind of swap between them when the situation calls for it. Yep. 
you know, fun memory for Battlefield 1. Uh, I actually played for one of the creator people. So there was, like, at EA Play every year, they do, like, their... Well, not every year. For a while, they've been doing their Game Changers or whatever, those people. And there was, like, this special media room, and I had a band to get in there. I had, like, a diamond band or something. I don't think I was supposed to have that tier of band. But anyways, I, uh... Oh! He just stuck me with a Russian axe in the stomach. That hurts. But yeah, I kind of, like, got in there, and then there was, like, an empty slot for some content creator, and I just started, like, playing and killing people. They were competing for, like, an Xbox and stuff. It was very interesting. Because you would think those game changers would, uh, have that stuff anyways, but... Yeah, it was kind of entertaining. But, uh, Kingdom Hearts, it's interesting. I don't know if I have time to ever sit there and, like, play through one of them. It seems like a collection of, like, mini-games, really, and some overly dramatic music and stuff carrying it. Iron Walls. So did we lose-lose, and now we go to the Adriatic Coast? Is that what's happening? We lost the Alps, and now we're right on the coastline? I think that might be the case. I'm not sure. I love their, like, crest there. I don't know what those are. Are they, like, birds or something on there? You know, on the German crests? I believe those are the German crests. Defeat. Yeah, we lost. Whatever. Load us into the next one. Load us to the next battlefield. Or is it doing that in the background if we're kind of sitting here just waiting? You know, for the next battlefield, I bet we're just going to, like, load right in and it's going to be amazing. Would I stream Halo Infinite when that drops? Yes, there will be Halo Infinite drops when Halo Infinite releases. Don't worry. We'll do lots of Halo Infinite coverage. You'll be very surprised. Probably have it ahead of time to review. I would actually be worried if I do not have that game ahead of launch to review, because that means that they are not confident in that product. Yeah, so there'll be stuff there. I did describe Kingdom Hearts as mini games and overly dramatic music. I mean, those games open up with like a three minute music montage that just like means nothing. <laughs> Each of the <laughs> just like this long thing where it's like, guys reaching out, girls reaching out, the girl fades away and the guy falls into an abyss, and then there's like cards everywhere and Disney characters, and then Elsa's in the background popping snow up in the air. Yeah, that's, that's how I think of those ones. The music is fire. I'm not saying it's, it's not, it's bad, I'm just saying it's like, it's very dramatic, like overly dramatic for what's going on. It's, it's very humorous, at least I think so. Yeah, I always have to cut out the parts where I'm, I'm laughing about what I'm seeing on the screen. Those are most like JRPGs, they're like so goddamn over the top, it's unreal. It's like Final Fantasy, guys, am I right? It's for the characters, man. No! <gasps> no! But it doesn't like mean anything, it's like... You know, at least when you watch the Mission Impossible movie openings. It's showing you the movie, or like even the Bond music videos. At least those are like stylized and cool. The Kingdom Hearts ones are just like, what is going on here? What is it trying to say to me? Come on, concentrate on your bayonet. Imagine it piercing the hearts of the Hun. Every last one of them. <laughs> yes, Mitchell, we'll, we'll set something up eventually, if I'm reading this correctly. Yes, they definitely tend to be entertaining. You never know what's going to happen in a stream, though. It's, it's always funny seeing stuff. Intro four times. <laughs> you guys have a plan? I feel like I've attacked the Kingdom Hearts community. Again, not saying they're bad. I just find them really hilarious and out of place. You know. Uh, when you watch, like, a Mission Impossible movie, it's like, dun, 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 dun. You know, it's really intense and gets you into the film. And, you know, when you watch a Bond movie, it's like, it's super cool and artistic, and... And when you watch the Kingdom Hearts opening, it's just like, what? What is going on? Because I'm trying to, like, decipher what the game's trying to say with these music videos, but... I think they're just, like, music that's thrown over stuff. Well, I mean, if you're under the influence running into those musical segments, that might be part of what it is. Yeah, I'm just gonna answer texts. Because this game takes so long to load. 
Oh my god, I've been doing, like you guys have seen probably on the channel, some 360 video comparisons. Running on the 360 drives me crazy. Everything is so slow. Ugh. And I know this is only slow because, like, it's multiplayer based, so the servers have to load everything. Oh, this is, this is trench warfare. Uh... Anyways, you know, since we're in a new match, be sure to like the stream that so more people check it out. Questions and stuff are great. I hope you enjoy the action. I don't see any planes. We're in the battlefield. Oh, there's a bad guy in there. There's a bad guy right there. I can't see anything. This is what heaven feels like. Oh, wow, there's two guys in there. That's not good. You've been dry, man? Oh, that sucks. There's two guys hiding there. I had the right idea, throwing a grenade in that spot. See if we can spawn on somebody and, uh, back there. That's a funky looking set of blimps over there in the distance. Did we clear them all out? They're all dead? Good job, everybody. Oh, I was gonna get on the MG, whatever. I didn't want to get on the MG anyways. I'd rather get shot in the back. That's what I'm all about. That guy's going in there, there's like four of my teammates. Did he kill all the teammates in there with the MG? Tch. Funny. You guys are crazy. Okay. I love the puffy clouds. Like, this really does seem like a hellish landscape. It's so awesome. In real life, it'd probably be terrifying, but, you know, it looks really awesome here. Nice to be far removed from the horrors of war. <gasps> that guy's name was Snappy Barra? That's a cool name. I like that. I'm on fire. How do you put out the fires in this game? Why are there there's so many grenades? I don't know what's going on here. Are there any, like, machine guns or, like, submachine guns I can kind of use, you know? We have Let's see. Customize. No, I want to customize. Okay, so we've got the factory thing. Is there something that shoots like an actual machine gun? The, the trench. Automatic rifle. The sweeper. The factory. Extended marksman. Hip fire. Okay, we want more hip fire. Let's let's try this one. I don't know how many of those bucks we have. Oh, we got two thousand of those bucks. Okay. Let's see what this does for us. How does this shoot? Ah, oh, it's still single shot. Man, I, I want something auto like. <laughs> like I gotta do for an automatic gun in this place. I should just switch back to that other rifle. I'm guessing. Oh, jeez. Got that guy's head right off. Oh, man, that must have hurt. Oh, he probably didn't feel it because his head got shot off. Then again, World War One weapons are very ineffective at killing people. It's probably extremely fair. painful for that guy. There we go, that guy's dead. Maybe this is my new gun of choice. I am killing people in the trench more effectively. And I don't know about distance. I feel like this isn't going to be as good as a distance gun. Oh, freedom. We are the British, right? Yes, okay, we are fighting for freedom. That's good. Then again, it's it's World War One, right? So, I mean, they were all kind of fighting for their own brand of freedom or whatever. You know, modern imperialism and whatever. I'll deal with those if you like. Oh, this is sick. Now, if only we could have a gun like this, but in the palm of your hand. Number five? That's a creative way to use that. Do I love my fans? I don't know, do I have fans? They're pretty cool, you know, they keep me, like, breezy cool in the summer and stuff. But I don't use them that much these days, you know, usually I just take the heat. Fans aren't that important. You know, they, they sit there, they, they do... <sighs> Or are you talking about other fans? These fans usually keep you cold. Oh, jeez. 
Oh, I thought I was gonna get exploded there or something, but it was just the ground shaking. You know, it must be weird. You probably get, like, weird shakes after being in a war like this with all the mortars and stuff going down. Probably be pretty psychologically damaging. There we go, gamey bacon is dead. I, I like this gun, I'm, you know, I'm killing people with it. We'll have to see how it fares in larger spans of war, though. Oh, I'm on fire. I love poking them. Yeah, it takes me back to my uh, Call of Duty 3 days, where I would do, like, I'd run in front of a tank and just, like, plop up my teammate, and they get blown up by the tank, and I'd plop them up again. Those are the best, you just, like, stab them, they get back up. I miss those days of reviving. Yeah, it was fun. Mm-hmm. Unstab the heal. This juice stuff, I tell you, it, it keeps people going even though they shouldn't be. Oh, he's got a horse! I don't think I finished that guy off, though. He needs to die. Got him. At least it's, it's just as funny as when you hit them with the, uh, the defib. And catch up to these guys. I see a bunch of bad guys going that way, so I'm gonna try to get behind them. I wanna get somebody with the bayonet charge. Oh! <gasps> yes, 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 yes! Oh! Oh, come on! Come on! Unbelievable. Shell shocked. Thank you for the correct terminology on there. Turtle power? Yes, it's, it's getting turtle power. That's that's exactly what being shell shocked is like. Wasn't there a game called Shell Shocked or something like that on 360? I don't remember it being a very good game, but I remember the titling and stuff. Shooter. It was ages ago. Turtle power, teenage mutant ninja turtles. Teenage <laughs> Turtles in Time is the best, guys. And they got like a new Turtles game coming out that's just like it. I'm pretty excited for that one. Real power indeed. Oh, interesting. You were playing Battlefield 1 earlier and now you're seeing it streamed. Aha. Uh -huh. Exciting, isn't it? The story in this. Yeah, well, it's like a bunch of little stories. I miss the more condensed actual stories that Battlefield used to tell. You know? Like, I don't mind these things. I just liked having one cohesive story instead of a bunch of little stories. Like, to me, that means they basically couldn't come up with a good enough story. They basically were just like, we're gonna throw a bunch of little things in instead of having a long thing. Ugh. This it's a little disappointing. I don't know. I feel like they just kind of gave up on storytelling after, like, what was it? Three? Four? I actually liked the Battlefield 4 story. I, didn't re I don't remember liking 3 story as much. Like, I found it interesting and really graphic and intense, but I don't remember the, like, the actual narrative part of it being that exciting, because it all ends up on the train and stuff. It was amazing. I... I don't remember it being that great. And, like, again, like, the segments where you're doing the soldier stuff, I thought that was insane at the time, you know? The grittiness, the realism of it, that part was cool, but then there was, like, the whole train segment and stuff, and... I thought that was a little bit silly. Shell Shock 2 on 360. Oh. I don't remember it being a very good game, Shell Shock. No. I have to go back and see like the Metacritic on it to see if people liked it. But I remember playing a bit of it and just being like, oh, this is this is lame, but you know, that, that was ages ago, right? Ace do change. Oh jeez, I am on fire and not in a good way. What is with these fire grenades? Jeez. Everybody's got an incendiary there. To me, it was incredible. Like, it was good for the time. Oh, poor Mitchell, thinking that Elden Ring is ever gonna release. Uh, maybe someday. Like I said, don't get your hopes up and maybe it'll just pop up one day. You'll just wake up and be like, oh, it's Elden Ring. But they might be doing their own event, Bandai. I don't remember them being part of the E3 presser that was like, hey, here's all the companies gonna attend E3 virtually this year. And then again, I didn't really look that close because I know the digital version of E3 is just kind of gonna be awful. Ugh. That's a tank. That's a bad tank. I do want to be near that tank. Of 
We're going to war! Can't stop fighting on the battlefield. One. And got caught up on stuff. They just didn't say what year. Yes, April 8th of 2025. That's when Elden Ring is coming. Do we even know it's like a real game? Like, I can't even remember last time we saw anything about Elden Ring. Other than like leaks saying it's gonna happen. God, this looks gorgeous from up here. How do they do that? Just make such a large-scale area of conflict. It's amazing. This is intense, right? We're up above it all. Okay. That was not the button that gives you a parachute. That looked way cooler when I first saw it. Way, way cooler. Yes. But it's always fun being on the battlefield. And hopefully we'll get to the hype of Battlefield 5. That was actually a pretty intense stream. I was surprised so many people were interested in that one. Can I get the horse? I don't think there's any horses left. I do see a lot of skulls here. We're really trying to hold A and it's not really working well for us. I'm coming to save you, Snuffly. Dying in the process, apparently. Like, first aid for myself, jeez. That guy. Oh, somebody else revived that guy. Shoot him! I will save you, Rosser. This is intense. It actually is pretty intense. Like, there's a lot of conflict going on in this one. Feels like super gritty compared to Battlefield 5, too. Get shot in the back. Ah, oh, crap. I got shot in the leg there. That's not good. Lost Planet 2. Those were the days. Xbox had confirmed it, la played it last summer. Yeah, Phil Spencer did say he played it. He could have just been playing with us. He's always hiding things, you know. Like, apparently that Kojima deal. Uh, which is like my worst nightmare, but... Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, he did say it was a real thing, so... I mean, it should be somewhat along then. Could have just been, like, delayed due to the, uh... Oh! <gasps> yeah! Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Anyways, yeah, it could have just been developmentally delayed due to the fact that, you know, COVID and all that. A lot of games are being played. They just delayed uh, Deathloop today. Uh, the Batman game got delayed. Gotham Knights got delayed like a little bit ago. So did Back for Blood. Everything's getting delayed. There's going to be so many games that, like, sink over to 2022. It's unreal. It's only going to get worse, too. Looks better. That's next gen. Well, you know, we can't all have 3090s. I don't know if you can find them these days. Everybody's dead and we gotta spawn at this sad windmill town? Actually, that looks really gorgeous. Oh, be a quaint place to live. I don't even know where we're fighting, actually. Hello, folks. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy it. And since it has been a while, you know, be sure to like the stream and that. Smart people check it out. Questions and stuff are great, and I hope you guys are having fun on the battlefield. Nice that I've finally been looping in some friends on the streams, though. You know, we've had Mitchell hop in. Uh, yesterday we had two people hopping in for Halo. That was exciting. Oh, jeez, we're dying. Oh, I'm scared. And it looks like maybe we will be doing a, a zombie stream eventually, guys. A classic zombie stream. That, that'll be fun. Oh, God. Right, let's see if we can actually hold these positions back. So this is back and forth, right? Like, they push us back, we can push them back. Is that what this actually is, or are we just on an all the, like, trying to stop them, like a halt before we lose? I'm wondering if that's the style of this game type. It is a little bit more nicely focused than Conquest is, though, at least for me. Oh, he's got the horse! Cavalry! Anybody know where that horse went? This is really intense. What happened? We won! The whole match? 
I, lo I love how we win, but I'm frozen on top of fire so that my guy burns alive. That's delightful. I feel very bad for him. Would I ever play zombies on PC with mods? That would be amazing. What, what zombies on PC with mods? Like Call of Duty zombies? I don't think anybody has Call of Duty zombies on PC. I have like World at War on PC. I've had mods on there, which is actually pretty cool. They do like whole new levels and stuff. It's insane. But very limited because it's World at War. Uh, like I, I was debating on doing like Left 4 Dead. You know, with mods on PC and stuff. But the the one Left 4 Dead video I did recently, people weren't checking out. So I was kind of like a little bit more timid on doing that one because of that. The video performance does matter to me, guys. I do take that into uh, an account when I do stuff. Super entertaining mods. There, there are definitely some crazy mods out there for most games. What are we doing now? Defending? Is, is that what we're... Oh, defend the sector. Okay. We took the sector, now we have to defend the sector. Ugh. Sounds like a pain. I thought I needed to shoot that guy, but he just exploded in front of me. Holy hell. Okay. We're still doing well. Don't worry, guys. We keep up these Battlefield streams. Maybe it can be a, an EA game changer someday, and then I don't have to buy my way to E3. That would be... That would be delightful. I think at the point where you get successful enough to be a game changer for, e, for uh, EA and stuff is the point where you've got enough that you could buy your way and it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's what I always thought about those uh, the function set up there. The new wireless headset. Oh, I hope you enjoy. I heard it's pretty cool. Teletubby zombie mods. Man, Left 4 Dead. I, I do the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man as my zombies. They're the best. Stay puffed forever. They're so happy and cheerful as they come and try to kill you. It's just delightful. Hey, what's going on? Yeah, I never know exactly what I'm doing in this one. I'm just kinda moving around trying to survive. Like, I wanna kill that guy, but I'm getting, like, just bombed. Because there's literally a bomber flying over. Damn, that thing's crazy. Let's get on. Yeah, there's some riot moments in Left 4 Dead, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, I get sick concert mods and yeah, my mods in Left 4 Dead 2 are like three times the size of the game. I got all these like maps and stuff and changes to the experience. It's just fantastic. Oh damn! Self-loading, ten kills with the rifle. Oh, I'm back alive. Here are some bandages, guys. I don't know how the bandages get applied in this game because, you know, it's not like they're taking the time to pull the bandages out of the packs I throw and put them on. There was a guy right here. Where did he. Oh, he's just literally camping the corner. I assumed he walked in here. Oh no! My teammates need help. Oh! <laughs> An improvised grenade. It looks like a piece of wood with, like, a bomb attached to it jump in for a few games. Yeah, sure, man, hop in, join the squad. Uh, ow. Damn. Still find matches in Hardline. I was pretty surprised when I went to do a Hardline video and there was still, like, a bunch of lobbies. I was like, what? I thought people really did not like that Call of Duty. That was surprising to me, but we can maybe do, like, a Hardline stream sometime. I don't know. But to see, I do like to, you know, change it up with different games. I think that's more fun, at least for me. Not doing the same thing all the time. Although it would be fun just to do Halo MCC all day, every day. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Or exclusively Fortnite. <laughs> we are losing objective Charlie. What's the sound? I've heard the new Xbox headset's actually really, really good. Apparently Canada for Xbox was the only uh, country they didn't send out like review units for headsets, so... That was weird. Like, apparently the headsets, like all the other Xbox countries that usually do review stuff, sent them out. At least that's what I heard from the other press people, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. But yeah, no, nothing here. Oh, jeez. Besides, I got dozens of headsets anyways. Oh, I've reviewed my fair share. That reminds me that I need to email that Lucid Sound guy again about those headsets. Ooh, is that a bad guy? That's a good guy. Okay. Hard to tell with the name tags and the 
they're small little dots, and when they're close up to you, sometimes you don't see the names. Well, that's kind of lovely. Maybe we should save this piece of art, guys. What do you guys think? Should we save this piece of art from this destruction? Oh, damn. I mean, this is probably something priceless. It's really lovely and painted by hand. The bad guy over there. I saw something move. Missed. I don't really have a clean line of sight on that guy. And somebody loves their incendiary grenades on that team over there. Can't say how much care for that. Oh, there's a horse! <laughs> Kai on a horse. That's always always scary. Look out the window. Oh, I wonder if somebody's gonna shoot at me. Nope, Kai on a horse. Deadly dangerous. So, uh, Hardline's not necessarily bad. It's just not a very good battlefield. It's a very different type of battlefield. It's more like a cops and robbers thing. It actually works as like a spin-off, but I don't I didn't really like the story that much. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think the the multiplayer was ever quite right, but you know, a lot of people like it. It's definitely different, you know. I'd say maybe the story might be worth downloading and trying. It is on Game Pass, so yeah, you can try it out that way. Yeah, I don't think the concept of it's bad. If I stream BF4 on console and play on PS5, uh, I don't have Battlefield 4 on uh, PlayStation. I definitely like to be showing more games on there video-wise, but I, you know, I don't have much of a library on that console platform. Usually, I primarily cover stuff on, on the Xbox. I guess I could maybe get like they have EA Play on PlayStation now, right? I guess I could grab EA Play for like a month, do a bunch of different videos on all the EA titles. Cancel. Hmm. That, they probably even have like a trial, don't they? <laughs> that might be smart. I should look into that. Thank you for for sparking my interest in that, because I'm going to have to take like a mental note. Because hmm. I would love to do what I've done for Xbox and just like do videos of all these older games running on the new console platform. I'm actually working with my Ubisoft guy to, to show off some older ones, so hopefully they're going to have some PlayStation-wise for me to check out. I mean, for uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue, they had to open up the vault to... Uh, Oh okay, god, what did I die from? I died into the air, guys. I got hurt so hard, I got sent to the heavens. Yeah. Painted by hand. Well, I mean, I'm trying to, you know, get a high level of immersion for this stream, you know. I feel like I am the soldier of the battlefield. And apparently, my character is drunk and I can't shoot straight. Ugh. But yes, it was probably digitally made. It could actually be like a real painting that they, like, you know, that's an open source painting or whatever, and they just downloaded it and put it into the game. It's just kind of fun making fun of, like, things in the games as if they're real. I find that humorous. And yes, the multiplayer in Creed actually is quite fun. You can still find Black Flag matches on Xbox One. It's quite entertaining, actually. I will say I'm um, not doing a very good job of medicing today. Not a very good job at all. I'm gonna wash my shirt. I don't want to pull it down too much. You know, I don't want to show off too. <laughs> uh, I gotta work on my uh, was it my jawline the last, last night in the Halo stream? Oh, uh, that was funny. Very very funny. Are we holding steady here? I don't know how we're doing against these guys. I feel like I'm just going in, dying, getting lit on fire a few times. Enjoy some health, my friends. For the commonwealth. Oh, I'm on fire. I feel like the fire grenades are maybe a little bit overpowered in this, considering that's all people are spamming everywhere. And people are getting burnt crisp, like my character right there. Looking mighty crispy and well done. Maybe we could sneak over and get B then. The nice little town area. I'm trying desperately to remember to check out. Oh crap, I got shot. I'm gonna have to like put a note on my phone about that for EA Play. Let's type this EA Play and I'll take a screenshot of that. A circle of that. Isn't it letting me do a circle? Alright, that. 
Nice. Okay. Remember to do that, and I can do videos for that stuff. Top notch work, whoever messaged that. I don't have time to look through the names and that comment. Look, we save use soap. The guy's got a good message, and apparently he didn't want me to. It's my type of soap, which is the vaccine on him. Oh. There's some bad guys over there. Okay, it's hard to be a medic when people are dying in fire. Maybe that's why they do it. Kind of like, you know, when you play uh, The Evil Within and you have to burn the bodies afterwards. Oh! Oh, come on, man! He evaded. He evaded the charge. That's depressing. I thought I would have really had that guy. So we, we already have one bayonet charge, which was my goal for the stream. But, you know, if we get any more, that'd just be gravy. And since it hasn't been a while, you know, be sure to like the stream and that so more people check it out. Questions and stuff are great. I hope you guys are enjoying the action here as we battle a way to, I don't know, take this area or something like that? Oh no, we're defending this sector, so protect this area is what we're doing. Paint little houses. We are losing objective Where am I getting- oh jeez! He's got a sickle! That hurts my back, he like cut a good chunk of it out with that thing. A A. Jump in a plane? I kind of want to spawn on a horse. No, I don't want to spawn in a plane. Spawn on this guy. Okay, well if I spawn on somebody in the air, it should at least have my parachute out, right? I will save you, V-Decker guy, as the buildings all around me crumble. Is it just me, or does Battlefield 5 not have as much, like, building destruction as this one does? Like, little buildings falling apart. Jeez. Oh my god, the fire grenades! I, like, there's so much of them, I need to, like, have them in my kit or something. Apparently these are the way to go for, like, ending lives. Best Fallout 4 faction? Uh, I don't know, I thought they were all kind of awful factions, weren't they? Really think about it. Cinderary grenade. Gotta adapt like other people. Um, I don't know if the railroad. Maybe. I don't know, I didn't really like any of the factions too much. But I think I ended up getting aligned with the railroad and the Minutemen in that one. I think they were called the Minutemen, right? All I know is that one guy, another settlement, needs my help. We failed the retreat, guys. They are pushing us back. That's not good. We're losing sector after sector. I should have refilled my drink before entering the battlefield. We're defending the windmill! It's so graceful and beautiful, and that is a bomber plane. Is that our bomber plane? It is. I can't just enjoy- oh, I'm back alive. I was like, I can't just enjoy the cinematic moment of a plane flying over. That really burns. Literally, because everybody uses goddamn fire grenades in this game. I can't see them through the fog. Or is this mist? Probably fog, right? I'm gonna try to get through this building and flank them a little bit. It's not working. Damn, that's a lot of bad guys. True indeed. That reminds me actually playing this. I need to do a video on the uh, on Enlisted on PS5 because it's getting a big update. I think on the 8th, yeah, which was today. I got a big update, so I gotta do a video on there. I already did one on Xbox if you're wondering too. It's a, like a squad based sort of shooter thing. It's, it's interesting. You control like an AI team. Definitely need. Is that a triple kill? Triple kill. Okay, I can die there. I was gonna go for the overkill, but it did not work. Gucci Gray T. This is like the Great Wall. I just when I stream because they're so late at night, I just wear what I sleep in. And these are like from the screening I went to for the Great Wall. You know that awful movie with Matt Damon, and it was bad. And it should feel bad because it was a bad movie, but yeah, I got some 
t-shirts from it, so I, I sleep in them. They're actually really comfy, nice shirts. But a little bit worn because they're, you know, the movie came out a few years ago, so they're not the newest of shirts. <gasps> Did they blow up my windmill? Those sons of a bitches. <laughs> they blew up my windmill. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm not fancy enough for the Gucci stuff. I usually wear uh, Buffalo Biden and uh, Le Chateau. But they're closing, so I, I just discovered that I like clothes from there, and that place is closing now, so that sucks. And Saks, and I started doing some shopping at... I want to say it's the Banana Republic, but I also feel like that's not what it's called at all. I have no idea. They have nice clothes there somewhat, though. I bought a new cardigan there. I've got my cardigan from La Chateau, which is nice. But then if it's colder out, I have this new car or cardigan that has pockets for my hands. And my hands will keep warm. They're the same color, basically, of cardigan. But one's warmer because it has pockets for my hands. No, man, I ain't cool enough for Gucci or Versailles. All out new Vegas factions? Sure, man. Whatever. A magnetic? That medic can starve for points. Wow, we have a lot of dead bodies over at B. This is not going well at all. Sometimes you just gotta shoot and pray that you're hitting things. For honor. JK, we're not playing for honor. Ow. Shot in back. Eh, I think he got me. Man, that sucks. Hard to make advancements in this game, you know. Trying to hold the line and things are just, uh... Going well, I'm gonna spawn in this vehicle, I think. Apparently spawning the vehicle is a very bad idea, because it is getting blown up. We are losing objective there is a lot of bad guys over on the horizon. Did we lose? Oh, we won! Okay, that's good. We defended the sector, guys. That's nice. Usually we lose. Do I like fun? That's fun. Oh, he's he's doing the question thing, guys. He's going on a zaddy question spree. So they stop this madman. So we won one because we defended the last spot? Is that how that works? Last defense. Okay. Oh, they've got an airship? Our airships look lame compared to that airship. They look like budget airships. My windmill! That windmill had stood there for 400 years! Okay, there are some bad guys down that way. They're advancing on the hill, guys! Oh, that's not good. I think the favorite 64 game would be Ocarina of Time, I would imagine. Do I still like Fortnite? I mean, honestly, it's, it's a pretty good game. You have to give it to them technically, like it's gorgeous looking, it's got all these IP in it, it's a long lasting game that just keeps getting popular and staying popular. You know, it's it's impressive, and the crossplay and stuff, always pushes tech. We're doing a horse race! Ah, I recharge! Horsey on the battlefield! Cut that guy's heads off! Oh, I am just mauling people down with my horse! I wanted to kill that guy too, but it didn't quite work. We're going back around. Oh, I want to kill this guy. He's being a real pain. I got him! Apparently I just should have been riding a horse this whole time. I'm, I'm like unstoppable on the horse. No, no, don't stop. Keep moving. That's how we die, horsey. I will call this horse Hidalgo. 
out of based on that one movie from years back. Man, I am just cutting people down on this thing. This is like more powerful than a tank. Oh, I got killed on it. Yeah. The game was always cringe for just playing. I mean, it was it's a huge game. Like it's it's still like hugely insanely popular, guys. Like it's cool to hate on it, but you know, you got to look at the technical parts of it too. It's kind of a fascinating title. I don't think too many other games have that much like IP in them either. It's it's seriously impressive what they've been able to do with that game. We have lost objective button. I'm getting shot up like crazy. There's no cover. I will hide and die behind this old oak tree. Never mind. Oh nope. We lost. That was fast. We held those other spots so long. We just got bulldozed there. That's weird, man. Do the floss? I don't know how to floss. I know how to, like, floss, but not, like, dance floss. The suburbs of the Amiens? Where are we battling right now? Like, where in Europe is this? Like, are we in France? There's the windmills and stuff. Hmm. Well, there goes my drink. When's a fighting stream go game going to happen? Or fighting game stream going to happen? I don't know. I don't know if I could be entertained by a fighting game long enough to, like, stream a fighting game for that long. And the button mashing sounds. I don't know. I don't know if that would work. For the people. They added Tomb Raider. Yeah, I mean, I, I got Lara Croft in that, eh? You know, the battle pass and stuff. It's pretty cool. Even getting to get her uh, old version and stuff. Like, in Fortnite, I've got Kratos. I've got the Master Chief. I actually cared about the game prior. I could have got, like, all other kinds of characters. It would have been nice, but... Yeah. I mean, it does decently for views, so... It's not too bad. If you want to see Lara Croft in action, I do have a video showing it off. Brawl or Soul Calibur, but it's hard to do that for like a lot of time to do it, like a fighting game over a stream. You know, it's it's just like... I just don't think there's that much content in a fighting game to do a whole stream based on it. Maybe like in Justice you could do the campaign and that might be like an okay amount of content, but... Wow, this place is getting leveled. Since it has been a while, be sure to like the stream so more people can check it out. Questions and stuff were great, and I hope you guys are having fun on the battlefield. Oh, bayonet charge! Oh no, he sees me, he sees me, he sees me. Oh, I got his friend! <laughs> oh, it's funny. For another season, Story of Seasons game. Yeah, that one just did not get enough views for me to do more of it. If you guys would have came out and watched it, could have done a whole 900 part series of me farming and doing the Harvest Moon life. But oh well. Maybe next time, you know, the, the next sequel comes out, maybe we'll get enough subs that we can really push for an epic series like that. I did film a new part of my Minecraft series today, though. Because the last part of it got enough feet. Oh, I can justify doing another one. It's actually pretty exciting. I think I spent a good chunk of it dealing with llamas. <gasps> Bayonet charge! No, it did not work. Battlefield 1 is... No, Battlefield 1 is not the newest. Battlefield 5 is the newest Battlefield. And then there's like Battlefield 6 this year, which apparently might be called just Battlefield. Yep. The towers in MK11? Uh, maybe, but still. A lot of the same characters over and over. I mean, you know, I'll keep it in mind and I'll think about it. Maybe there'll be a night where I'm just like, yeah, we'll, we'll do some Mortal Kombat. I don't know. Like, it's not out of the question. I'm just saying it's it's hard to do a stream for an extended period of time on those specific games. At, at least I think so. Did I go down there and save these guys? Okay, I'll do it. Saving lives, being the medic everybody needs me to be. Not all heroes wear capes. Sometimes they have little stick with liquid, liquid stick things I can stab people with. 
flip those banks and break some limbs. Uh, I mean, again, it's not out of the question. It's just when I try to think of streams, I try to think of something like more easygoing. And I feel like for fighting games, there's just gonna be like this high level of expectation from people too. Oh, it's the trolley cars! Mighty good, mighty good trolley cars. I've got a bad feeling about this adventure, guys. Okay, where are we? Oh, okay, I'm just getting one shot killed up there. It, it looked cool. His gun's got like a blue streak on it. It must be spent. That's how he killed me so fast. It's so chill. Black Ops Zombies maps would get big views if you stream them. Uh, like like I said, uh, we're 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 coordinating that. It's it's moving forward. You know, I've talked to people. I've I've gotten some folks that are you know of interest. We we might have a a Black Ops zombie stream in in the future. Not in the immediate future, but you know, it's uh it's in talks right now. So it's it's very likely it can happen. Keeping in mind, I've been trying to coordinate my fighter chat for like I think four months now or something like that. It's, it's been a long time, but. You know, eventually things get done. People are gonna die from that grenade, people. You get a stab. You get a stab. I just want to get out of here because there's so many people dying. War is hell. I've only got three health. This isn't good. Is that a bad guy right there? There's a bad guy right there across the street, too, and one in the window. There's so many bad people. Yep. I mean, I don't know if it would necessarily get a ton of views. We were having some fire nights, and then, like, yesterday, and I think today, it's just, like, slower YouTube days. Killer Instinct. I like Killer Instinct quite a bit. Even then, though, it's like there's a finite amount of like match setups and stuff you can do in those games. At least I think so. Yeah, c -c 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 combo breaker. I do definitely enjoy Killer Instinct. <laughs> Game's a lot of fun. And Soul Calibur. That's a tank with a weird Joker thing on it. And I turn around and get out of here. I don't want to be a part of whatever this tank is gonna do. Probably kill people. A flame trooper kit has been located. Does that mean you just get to burn people? I'm like just one badass medic, just like stabbing people, bringing them alive, throwing health packs. I definitely delivered the help, that's for sure. This is what I wanted in Battlefield 5 though yesterday when we streamed it. It was like more city maps like this. I find them more intense. The snug capybara, no! Where's the question guy? He usually comes in a little bit later, I've noticed. Battlefront stream. Well, we have done... Uh, I I have to do a Minecraft one eventually, because I do pay for my realm. I, I do need to stream it more. I used to all the time. That was all I streamed, but... I just kind of stopped because I got so busy, but... Uh, we have... We've done a, a number of Battlefront 2 streams. We we've had two that were quite successful, actually, I'd, I'd say. Oh, jeez. They weren't that long ago. We'll, we'll probably have more Battlefront streams as well. Ow, 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 ow. You go and help somebody, and you burn to death. How's that guy killing me? He's on fire. Must be painful. Kilgore. Kilgore is such a weird enemy. Such a weird character. One of those, like, slower ones. I like to be a little bit fast. I really love, uh... Her name Kimmy Wu. You know the one that's like, I've got a dragon, like flipping around the nunchucks. She's awesome. <laughs> that's a cool character. That Cinder's pretty cool too, because he can like change his colors. He could be like all green flames and stuff. It's crazy. Where was I getting shot from? Oh, he's right there on the ground. Sometimes you miss these guys. Minecraft stream would go crazy. The guy asking me about the controllers. Yeah, he's always doing that. He does like light trolling, I think. Yeah, it's, it's very strange. The OG Battlefront. We we did actually we did a Battlefront uh, classic live stream not too long ago. Uh, we'll, we'll probably do more of that. I love my Battlefront Two classic. Oh, a rocket! He shot with a rocket. Damn. 
I actually, I filmed some Battlefront footage uh, today and yesterday, because I'm going to be doing a comparison for the old Battlefront games. So that should be fun, you know, seeing them on 360 and then Series X. Oh, the gas is overflowing everywhere. You know, this balcony, or not balcony, this like building design, this little kind of arch thing here has been present since like Battlefield 3. You just like change the outside of it every time. <laughs> the accent is... What am I running into? I don't like it. There's bad guys everywhere. Holy, I've run into a bad spot. Wish I had like an actual machine gun. I could just like annihilate people. Hey, there's that painting. Maybe it wasn't so rare, guys. <gasps> I assassinated somebody. That's pretty cool, right? And I got an achievement, Firefighter. Form a melee kill on a flame trooper elite. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta get closer to that 500k gamer score. Only got like 10,470 to go. Can't believe that's so close. I should have really worked harder to get there. I could probably get there faster if I tried, but you know, I'm busy working on stuff all the time. It's life. Ow. Who's the frog? Bad company and eat some tandies? Nice, 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 nice. Grievous is the best villain. Grievous is terrifying. A little bit more terrifying in the new Battlefront, though, with the flipping lightsabers and the crawling and stuff. Uh, but I love me some classic Battlefront. I mean, I grew up on that stuff. It's definitely something I love playing. It's even fun doing comparison videos on them. It's gonna be entertaining. I hope that tomorrow I'll have a video for the Force Unleashed, doing a comparison for that one. I mean, I did spend however long editing it today, so I just gotta add voiceover and you know, render it later, so... Should be ready for tomorrow. Uh, move to the next building. Oh, there's a bad guy in there. Can't believe I didn't see that guy. That King Kong game. You know, I've always looked to try to find that one. And, you know, I think it's available digitally, but I don't really want to buy it for, like, I think they probably charge, like, 20 bucks for it or something. I don't want to buy it for that much, but I would like to play it someday. I've heard it's, like, a pretty easy gamer score, and I'd also just like to experience it. I think that'd be a lot of fun. But they, um, yeah, I don't, like, it never goes on sale. I don't think I've ever seen it once on sale, but, you know, if it, it does ever do that, I think I'd pick it up. I just, like, even as much as it would be, like, for a laugh, I can't justify the full price of that one. It'd be crazy. Um... But yeah, I would really like to play that and do a video on it. The Ubisoft people can't get it. They can uh, they can barely find the the old Xbox One games. Like I said, they had to go to like a vault to find uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue for me to do a video on. Ah, it's like three times I've gotten to do that today. It's awesome. I love the charge. PSP, yeah, PSP fun. That's those are the old days. I'm surprised they didn't continue the the PlayStation handheld stuff, but. I don't think it was ever quite popular enough for them to really keep doing it, I guess. The blimps are coming over! Oh, I got killing, that's good. We won, guys! We did it! We defended the sector! We're not dead yet. Just buy it on eBay. Okay, you have to keep in mind I'm from Canada, and eBay stuff is not as cheap as people keep saying it is. It's so expensive to the point for a lot of these games where it's like just buy it on eBay with like shipping and all that, that it literally is like a dollar or so more to buy it digitally, and then we're at the same situation. Such a hold on the market with handheld. Yeah, their game streaming thing is very clever. It's going to be interesting to see Nintendo and PlayStation eventually have to deal with the uh, you know, the future of streaming and stuff game-wise. So is this like a victory victory? Like the whole thing's done? Is that, is that what this is? We're like done done? I don't know what's happening here. Forgot I only had a sip left. MK9? I thought MK9 was available. Major victory. We did it, guys. We're the heroes the people needed us to be. 
a ragtag troop of soldiers. Where do we fight next? Where do we fight next? Everybody's just on the home screen? Battlefield 5. That's late, man. Come play Battlefield 1. <laughs> I love the mushroom there, Kevin. That's very entertaining. It's the mushroom guy. It's, it cracks me up. I'm not available on eBay, sadly. The war is over, yes. We've, we've won the war. Battlefield 1 is done, guys. We're headed home for Christmas. And for years of shell shock and PTSD. Emotional issues that will scar the family for generations. But at least we won this pointless war. Where nobody really gained territory and didn't really go well for anyone. But it's cool, right? Yeah. We ended it. Now I'm just kind of waiting for that next battle. Wonder where we're headed now. I hope it's somewhere filled with trenches. An epic action. Ooh. We'll be going over the, top. the ballroom blitz? It's, felt too much like a holiday. it's, it's yeah, the ballroom blitz. Hillary, the <laughs> Damn it. Odds of us getting through this 25 to 1 against. Uh, I don't like those odds. Maybe we should just give up on this. I mean, 25 to 1 odds are like not something you want to go into. That's like a suicide rush. They say just four minutes up against these fortified German lines, and we look just like them. Yeah, the army of the living dead. We're fighting zombies? When did that happen? A nice Pepsi? I mean, I don't really drink Pepsi. No, I usually drink like water and stuff, but uh, yeah. Did I ever play Conquer Live and Reloaded? Yeah, I mean, I played in the past. I haven't done a video on it, though. They don't own it by itself, I think. I don't know if I have that one. I have whatever's in Rare Replay, and I was thinking of doing a separate video on that one for Conquer, because I like Conquer so much, but... No. God, I'd really love to have a new uh, Conquer game someday. I did also do a whole video on Conquer from Project Spark. It's like a half-hour thing where they remade you know, the one Conquer game. To a degree, I mean, it's... It's a remake, but also like a new continuation. As odd as that sounds, like it continues the story, but it basically like remakes the story and stuff. And this is actually kind of an interesting video, I thought. Yep. Yeah. Think about Pepsi. Interesting. Pepsi, whatever, man. But anyways, you know, be sure to like the stream uh, so that more people can check it out. Questions and stuff are great. I hope you guys enjoy the action of the battlefield. Like I got the cool sentry kit. I would have taken that. You know, these games always look really epic. I gotta say that. Enjoy the Cindy grenade. It did not reach its way into the hole. That's a little disappointing. Maybe I can flank around and get in here for the ballroom blitz. Just stab somebody in the back, I guess. That would have looked cool. <laughs> Did I just cut the guy on the floor? I didn't even know there was somebody down there. Damn. That was epic. Smacks you when you're not feeling it. Jeez. Guys are talking about Coke and Pepsi battles. I didn't even know that these were still like decisions and combat things that people were going over. Combat things or discussions. Whether uh, Pepsi or Coke was the, the thing. Interesting. Very interesting to read sometimes. Ah oh, crap, I thought I could get one of those kills. There's always somebody behind you in Battlefield. There's always something going on. Everybody's everywhere. We have taken objective apples. Now we have a spawn behind them? Huh. That's interesting. Order of the Duke of York. Okay, that's an interesting quest. They got all kinds of little challenges and things for you to do. I will revive you too, my friend. Getting kills, performing revives. You know how it is. Taking lives, saving lives. Yeah, I tried to go and save that guy. It did not work out. Found guys everywhere. I got promoted, and I died. That's not good. Death is all. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do a Battlefield 4 stream eventually, too. It was literally a toss-up. I could have went either way tonight, but I decided on Battlefield 1. I don't know why specifically, but I did. I hope to maybe emulate the success of the Battlefield 5 stream. So far, so-so. So, so. Let's take the Crown Prince's Trench. Battle! Don't just lie down, guys. You gotta get into the action. We're never gonna take this with people just camping it up. You can't play this like a real war game. I'm gonna save these guys, but I feel like I'm gonna get blown up by somebody. Ow. Love getting clunked in the side of the head. The Von Cluck, I literally got clucked. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. A button. Don't they have like funny names for all the places, like butters and stuff? I always found that entertaining. All of these different positions, different weird names. You're just saving people's lives. And ending them too. Do it all. It was there a bad guy over there? It would help that if the people I revive would kill people, then I could survive longer. This guy killer instincts calling my name. Yeah, maybe at some point. I mean, I do have a Series X video for Killer Instinct. I think that one did alright. Throwing the bandages. Okay. Oh crap. I will save. No, I'm dead. Okay, retreat failed. We lost the sector, guys. We're being pushed back. It's not good. What are my favorite snacks? Um, I don't know. Small tomatoes are pretty cool. I don't mind bear paws. I guess it depends on the scenario for the snacks. I don't necessarily snack a lot. Late at night, I'll have uh, whatever is left from the salad that we ate for dinner. I usually finish it off. That's pretty cool. Usually I snack on that. Oh, come on. Dropped so fast from these rifles. But I'm not necessarily always snacking on something. Maybe Tocitos or something is a fun snack with salsa. Yeah, that's pretty good. Five favorite snacks? But what is the context for these snacks? Am I like sitting and doing something snacking or am I just like snacking snacking? So many different food groups. Not an easy snack thing to do. I do have these new things, they're like mini cucumbers. Snack on them. Good old Costco. <gasps> oh, come on. That, that gun that was flown in the air should hit that guy in the head and give him a concussion at least. Grabbed by the ghoulies. I showed off a bit of that one in my uh, rare replay gameplay. Because that one is enhanced, yeah. Grabbed by the ghoulies. Very good looking game. For its age, you know, cleaned up nicely. Yeah. I mean, over time, I'll probably have most of the notable games done video-wise, I would think. On Series X. I mean, I've already got like, what, three, four hundred of them or something like that done? It's kind of impressive. I don't think anyone's come quite close to what I've gotten variety-wise. At least I don't believe so. YouTube, on YouTube, that is. Where am I getting shot from? What is even going on here? Trees are falling down, they're ruining this beautiful courtyard. I got shot in the back. As soon as I stop moving, it's like, Poof. eat my booger. No, why? That's weird. Very weird. Don't be weird, man. 
It'll be strange. We have lost objective apples. So we lost B. There's so much death here. Oh, that guy just blasted me down. What is that? That looks like an actual machine gun he's got there. Yeah, why do the medics have, like, rifles only? It's so bizarre. Just can see how many games left. Yeah, it is, you know. That's how I get the, the views and stuff, though. At least I think so. Oh, jeez. Yeah, hopefully it equates to good growth and stuff. Like I said, it's it's been pretty good, you know. We've had a really great March. Last couple days a little bit slower, but hopefully it picks up again. Oh crap. We have lost objective <laughs> One million noses. Whatever it takes. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we literally we're losing the courtyard. We're already getting pushed back to the castle. Is this a castle, or just like a royal's place? It looks like the place from Bridgerton, am I right? <laughs> right we've got to go take A. We have taken objective butter. I don't know how well this is gonna go. Grenade! We do need to do another Warzone stream soon, though. I want to get my COD points so I can unlock that Maxis pack before they get rid of it. I don't think I'm going to have enough run. Nope, that did not work out. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Okay. We are not getting much ground on these guys. Like, am I even in a squad right now? I feel like I'm not even in a team of people. Squads. Well, I'm in apples, but I don't see any green anywhere on the battlefield. It's like all blue. Hmm. Yeah, aren't the squads usually green when you're actually in a team? Crazy. They lost the sector. What a shocker. We have lost the sector. What a shocker. Damn. Way to drop there. Wait a drop indeed. Okay, looks like we are defending the castle. If only we could get it on horseback again, I was slaying on there. Oh, that's some beautiful architecture. Is that like a, a caribou thing or something? Attacking dogs? That's nuts. It's a beautiful palace area. Man. Like some Hogwarts level stuff going on here, am I right? Westgate. I wonder if I should get on one of those machine guns. You think that would do anything? I feel like I just get shot in the back, but let's give it a whirl. Oh, this is anti air. That's that's useless. There's a tank shooting at me, guys. Don't like it. get out of this area and go maybe help at the west gate. You hit that guy a single time? Like I said, this gun's not great at distance. It does close range well and medium range, but distance wise, no. Oh. Sorry to hear you disconnected. It happens. Internet connections, you know, so so. I think we're losing the West Gate, guys. We get on the top of this building, because that would be pretty helpful. Is there like a route up there? Oh, yes, yes, there is. Wrong way, okay. Beautiful architecture. Seems like everyone else on the team had the same idea. I 
there still a guy alive down there? Hopefully he's dead or not. He's dead. We take back the west gate. Should we charge, guys? Outside of war, this would be a very beautiful place to visit. We are losing objective Charlie. Got him. Don't let them into the courtyard. Oh, there's a guy up here. No. Would grunts from Halo make a good pet? Um. I don't think so. They need like methane and stuff, don't they, to survive? That'd be kind of be hard to get a hold of. I mean, they're pretty big. I mean, they might be fun pals. They make funny noises and stuff. They seem quite humorous. We are losing objective butter. They are kind of maniacs as well. I don't know, pet-wise? I'm not sure pet-wise would be great. You like pal around with them. I think they're a little too sentient and too smart to be pets. Specifically. I'm getting shot at by like a tank. He's breaking our castle. I feel like he's specifically shooting at me and it's hurting my feel. Is no one defending this wall anymore? Oh jeez, the tank got me guys. The tank got me. Uno. What will we do? I don't know if we're gonna hold this position off. Oh wow, they are really they're taking the courtyard. We're losing the castle front gate. Not the ballroom! How are we going to hold our fancy dances once this war ends? Lots of bad guys out there. There are so many bad people around here. Everybody's dead, so I can't revive them. <gasps> Green people! Those are my teammates! Ah, oh, no, I got shot in the back. That's not good. Lots of death around here. Yeah, I'm surprised the Battlefield 1 hype isn't as high as it was for Battlefield 5. Must have just been unlucky today. Unlucky indeed. Guess we're retreating. Hmm. Can't believe we lost the ballroom that fast. There wasn't even any explosions in the castle. Joy the incendiary grenade. <laughs> Don't give them any ground, man. I do not like the situation I'm in. This is not a good spot. Hey look, Kane joined in to help on the battlefield. I don't even know what's happening right now. All I know is my screen is like smoke and grenades flying by. Healed by Kane, but not healed by my own bandages. That's great. So can they flank us here? Is there like a flank route or something? Oh no, there's a wall. Okay. I will revive Oh Hibachi Boy. I remember that name from our Battlefield 5 epic. No, oh, thank you for allowing me to save your life. Oh jeez, that guy's on fire. They're pushing through, guys! Not much, we just hold in the ballroom line. We're trying to. It's going so so tonight. Alright, guys, just so you know, we have a bit of a limit on today's stream, so we're only going to be going for one more hour or like 52 more minutes. Keep that in mind. Which is still, I think, pretty long, but yeah. And be sure to like the stream so that more people can check it out. Questions and stuff are great, and I hope you guys have been. Having some fun on Battlefield 1. Oh, jeez. There's people dying everywhere. 
I don't know how I didn't kill that guy. That guy doesn't want to be saved. I'm dead. So much death. So much sorrows on the battlefield. I know, it's, it's been going pretty well though, I think. We'll probably end up doing Battlefield 4 in the near future, I think, as well, because... Yeah, they're, they're pretty fun ones to stream, I think. You know, you just kind of go in and fight and stuff. It's, it's kind of cool. Like, this looks gorgeous, though. You know, visually, I think they really nailed the aesthetic here. You gotta give it to DICE, man. They... A lot of controversy and stuff in recent years, but they make pretty games. Definitely make some pretty ones. Even though it's totally filled with gore and explosions and fire and building crumbling to rubble. But uh, yeah, it's, it's got a certain lovely look to it. Get the spawn on there. Hmm. Is this like our last position too, if we get pushed out of here? Do we have like another spawn? I think we still got... I don't know, this might be it. That's a bad tank. Enjoy your revival. Aw, oh, crap. Just trying to be a hero and it's not working out for me, just getting blown up by people. We have lost objective hmm. I, I think we're actually kind of stopping them a little bit from getting A, but I think they're pushing through now. Feels like a never-ending onslaught. And that guy didn't die, man. Believe. They are taking those hits. They are pushing us right back. The B, I think, is our last spot here. And it's a train. That's cool. Gotta give it to them. They're very creative with the setup of these maps. I guess when they're not necessarily symmetrical, you can do all kinds of weird things with them. Dead before the player can. ODST is really fascinating from the perspective of, like, you know, different characters and that. Because you really get to feel a different style of Halo with that game. I wish they'd do more like it. Oh, jeez, there's a bad guy right there. Another bad guy right here. There's a closer bad guy right up there. If only I had a machine gun, I could, like, shoot a bunch of guys really fast here. On a bit of a roll, they don't even notice that I'm back here. Are we taking back the north gate? Running low on ammo though. Anybody have any ammo? <gasps> we won! We did it guys! We held them! We held them back! We defended the sector! We did it! Wow, that place looks torn up, man. I feel bad for the groundskeeper that's gonna have to try to fix that level up. Not gonna be easy. Not gonna be easy at all. Hmm, I'm surprised we held on there. Why don't I like Slayer or TDM? Uh, I just find that kind of boring in games, you know? It's just like mindless killing and shooting and stuff. I just, it doesn't entertain me as much as uh, playing some sort of objective does. Like, I feel like I don't have any focus in those games. First wave down, you're right, man. We, we held it. I don't, I don't know how we did it, but we did it. Now we have to defend the sector. Again. And since it has been a while, be sure to like the streams. More people will check it out. Questions and stuff are great. Hope you guys are getting our action here. Oh, I can't go that way. I want to retake the ballroom, guys. Retake the ballroom. I think there's a guy on that bush shooting at me from the floor. It's, it's hurting my feelings. Oh. Oh, the leg. Yeah, running yesterday was not a good idea, that's for sure. See, they spawn out in this field, kind of go around them on A and see if we can get behind them a bit. Never mind, there's a guy right there shooting us up. Hello, welcome. As you can tell, we're having a really thrilling, popular time on Battlefield 1 today. 
It's so popular, it's unreal. No spawn points? Man. At least we got a squad now. Like, I thought we were in, like, a company of, like, apples, but no. Nope. We actually do have a team now, so that's good. I believe they're from the stream as well. Oh, okay, yeah, they are... They're storming in, guys. They are taking this train. That is going to be hard to hold. Respawn. Hmm. Around here. We don't have a lot of cover in this area either, do we? But this fence, this sturdy fence. Oh wow, keen man, that does not look good. We have lost objective bottom. Got him. I think, do we win? We lost. We lost, guys. That was pretty bad. That did not go well. We lost this to these All sectors have fallen. What does that mean, though? We have to conquer hell now? That sounds bad. That sounds very bad. The pictures look lovely, though. Got some pushing going on. And now the loading. Oh, no, it's going. Looks like we're fighting in the forest. That didn't seem possible to win. You're very right. The odds were definitely stacked against us on that one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we would stood much of a chance in that regard. <laughs> From before the war. This place looks like it's trenched right up for battle. We'll see what we can do here, team. Ooh, there's a train off on the bridge. Oh, man. That's intense. Round starts when enough players are ready. Okay, looks like we got our squad still. Kane, Hibalchi, we're getting ready for battle. It does have beautiful music this game. As soon as I had, like the menus loaded up, I, I always forget how like hauntingly beautiful it is. Yeah, they do a really good job of that. For 25 kills as a Royal Marines assault. But I'm a medic. I save people's lives. Through the trenches of war. Ah, this looks lovely. I see bad guys, but I'm not in the line of sight to shoot at them. We are losing objective. Return to the combat area. I guess we're holding them along this line here. Hmm. I don't know specifically where I should be camping. I don't want to get flanked, but I'm gonna hold off like a ridge or something. I feel like they're gonna drop down from above. Like right, right up on that rock ledge, they could just come down here. Oh man, you don't look too good. You need some medic stuff. That guy was on fire. Not in a fun way. Okay, we gotta hold this line. Downloading games, bad megabytes per second. Well, you know, it's, it's regional and stuff. I actually, the one thing I do seem to actually get is uh, download speeds that are usually really close to what my actual speeds are here, which is convenient because usually, you know, everything else is just kind of bad internet-wise here. I do hope we get the fiber eventually. Uh, they've been putting it in all sorts of different communities around here, so I hope that... That becomes an available thing, and I can do 4K streaming. That would be absolutely lovely. Yeah, that would look really good. 
yes, hardwiring helps a lot. A lot of people just like, you know, we'll do the Wi-Fi and stuff, but, you know, if you're really playing competitively, hardwiring's the way to go. I don't care much PS5-wise gaming when it comes to, like, the competitive play, so I just use Wi-Fi there. It's actually got really good Wi-Fi, but that aside, um, I guess wireless connectivity. Whoa! People flying in the air. But anyways, so yeah, I keep the Xbox hardwired. Game kind of exploded there. Jeez, okay. Oh, that's the guy that was shooting at us. Oh, damn. Can't get that high in the trenches. What is my favorite so far on Game Pass? That's... That's so hard to answer. There's so many games on Game Pass. Like, I love MCC. That's probably the best, like, value on Game Pass is MCC. You get all those games and stuff and all the DLC. It's nuts. I mean, you need to specify more if you want, like, indie suggestions on that. If you guys didn't know, every month I do a uh, 10 suggestions list that's usually pretty up-to-date on stuff. What to check out in the month. But yeah, that's a good way to do it. I am looking at doing more, like, top 10 and suggestion list type things, so look forward to those, you know, in the near future when I get caught up and ahead on things. You are hard hardwired. Well, you gotta get an even better Ethernet cord, man. Next gen Ethernet cord. Gotta get that Cat 6. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh no, I don't know what's happening. People are dying. It's glowy. It's weird looking. Bodies are flying. We are getting pushed back. Yes, I definitely want to retreat because we have lost the forest. Where are we fighting now? Castle Wolfenstein? Hmm. Death Valley. Wow, that's the place I want to be fighting in. Hey honey, how's the war going? Oh, you know, we just, we were fighting in Death Valley, so that's probably going to be a good place for us to hold up, you know. Valley of Death. I guess that's actually a good flanking route for the other team to take. I keep finding all these good, like, angles and stuff that if I was on the other side, we would pull in. Yeah. Gears. Yeah, Gears is a lot of stuff to it. Gears is still popular. Like, it's still a very popular series. I think Gears 5 is actually one of the most popular from people playing it. It just doesn't dominate the dialogue and conversation as much these days. And I think that's the thing that's kind of true for a lot of games. Like, Halo used to be one of the most talked about. But it was also in a time when there wasn't as many games or as many, like, big franchises out there, right? Because now there are so many titles. Like, I don't see people, like, talk about Rainbow Six that much. But that game is massive and millions play it. Like, even Fortnite isn't as talked about now, but it's still got millions of people that are playing it, right? They're not small games by any means, but it's just not as discussed because there's so much thing, so many things to discuss. Uh, I don't think there are a performance or graphics mode on the, the uh, Battlefield 1. It's just the one mode you get on here. what I remember. I mean, I did a video review on it however long ago, but I don't remember the specs for everything. I've been thinking about doing, like, a list on my site that's kind of got all, like, the the resolution of frame rates for, like, all the games I've played, but that would take so long to put together. I'm always in such a time crunch to get stuff done, it's ridiculous. Outer Worlds and Hellblade? Oh yeah, those games are great. Uh... Story-wise games, there's a lot of really good story games out there. I mean, you can play the Fallout games now, you can do the Elder Scrolls. There's some stellar titles on Game Pass, right? Uh, Outriders just released too, that one's definitely worth checking out. I, I highly suggest that one. A lot of fun on it. We're, we're holding the forest, guys. The weird place to be in, okay. I feel like they're not really pushing forward right now or attacking. We get up here? No, we can. It doesn't even say fall back or anything. Nice. Hold the top of the valley nicely. Star Wars Fallen Order. Like, I mean, a lot of the EA games are stellar. 
If we do get Ubisoft on there, they're on this year, or on there this year, that would be just nuts. I can see it happening too. I don't think it's that crazy, but I yeah. I know it was my big April Fools thing, but I legit see that being like a possibility. Are they pushing somewhere else? I'm just not seeing any players here. Oh wow, okay. That's a bad guy. There's only like six of us and no one can shoot him. That's a grenade. That's a bad guy. Am I gonna play Kenna when it comes out? Uh, Kenna and the Bridge of Spirits or something like that? Yep, yeah, I'll probably review that one, I would imagine. Uh, I don't, is that first party PlayStation? I mean, it's probably easier now if it's third party, but, um, so yeah, if you, if you didn't hear it in the last stream, I don't know when I talked about this last, but, uh, the PlayStation people are getting a new PR contact in Canada, like a new company to handle it, so we're in a bit of a intermediate, uh, kind of position where we don't quite know how things are gonna go, so that's a little worrying, but I hope everything works out fine for that so that I can keep reviewing their game as well, but... Uh, very, very likely I'll cover Kenna when it comes out. I think it looks lovely, that game, so kind of looking forward to playing it. But I mean, it's it's like August, right? So it's not on my immediate radar of games that I'm going to be covering because it's so many months away. I'll, be, I'll have covered so many games by that time. <laughs> so many. Oh, crap. How am I doing tonight? I'm doing well, thanks for asking. It's uh, been an interesting day. I don't think I did much, but I got like a lot of editing stuff done, so that was good. I'm hoping once the stream's done, I can get my uh, show that I'm screening for that's on Netflix coming out in the few, next few months or something. I can get that one done tonight, and maybe get some written work done. I think that would be a really good kind of finish off to the day, and getting some of the editing uh, voiceovers on that because I'm doing some more comparison videos. So yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah, some days I just don't think I do much, but then I kind of go through my list and I'm like, oh, I actually got quite a bit done. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. Battlefield 1. I used to play Siege. I, I quite liked Siege. I used to play a lot of that one. It was great because I could, you know, play the game and then I could do work at the same time. Like, you know, between rounds when I've died and I'm waiting. And I could play with friends because we all played Siege together. So, yeah, that was fun back then. Then we moved on, played other games. It's just the cycle of life for gaming, and sometimes you go back and play games, play new games, and some people just stay on certain games. There's so many options now, right? Oh, did that guy stab me, or what happened there? I, I just kind of died. That was crazy. Lots of- I'm alive! I got revived! Thought I was gonna get that kill, nope. Guy's sneaking around, he's like a worm. You're just killing people. Well, I guess that's what you're doing, is watching you kill people. Anyways, how do I feel about the death loop delay? Uh, I mean. Like, honestly, I'm getting a little bit worried that releases are getting a little sparser in the middle of the year, because, you know, obviously big releases give me more views and more potential subscribers and stuff, so big releases are kind of important, and so many games keep getting delayed, it's, it's a little worrying, but, like, it's not... Like, I wasn't super hyped up about the game, so to me it's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm not too specifically worried about it. Hopefully it turns out to be a really good game, I guess. It's the biggest thing, right? And I, I think delays right now, you know, in the past you'd be like, oh man, you couldn't get your game out and stuff, and it was a bummer, but, you know, in, in COVID times, it's just kind of like, almost expected, I, I guess you could say. Like, it's just part of what gaming is right now, is dealing with that. You know, it, it sucks, but, uh, you know, you just gotta remember, it's, it's not easy to put these games together, because they're not... They can't get together, shutdowns, lockdowns, like, we just entered another lockdown, like, two days ago, and it's just... It, it doesn't seem to end, ever. Let me get the revive on there. Where am I going? Everything's gaseous and death. It's terrible. Death everywhere. We just went, ran through a room of complete mayhem and chaos. Hmm, okay, let's get over. Let's spawn on the hill here. 
Yeah, this treats us. This is not a good spot to be. See, now I thought we were holding, like, spawning from that bunker, and now it seems we've lost the bunker. I'm uh, assuming after we fought, they kind of pushed the bunker side, whereas we were protecting the outside area over there. Move over to where Kane is, though, kind of like the hill spot. I think get some good pulls up there, so. But that's the case. We have lost objective button. Yeah, it seems like they don't even care about the jungle now, they're just kind of rushing that position. Oh no, they're coming from the jungle. He's in smoke? I had to shoot them through all the smoke. I guess that's why they threw it down, right? <laughs> Need an ammo resupply. There's just a guy right behind me. Did you see that? He wasn't even noticing. That's crazy. Oh, and since it has been a while, be sure to like the stream so more people can check it out. Questions and stuff are great, and I hope you guys are having fun as we try to battle in Death Forest. I like to call it the Forest of Death, but you know. Death Forest makes more sense. There'd be enemies on the horizon. We could take this hill, it's actually a very powerful spot. Oh wow, there's a lot of guys over there, we are not taking that hill. Am I going to be reviewing Judgment on Series X? I hope so. Uh, Time-wise, that's going to be a big issue, because that's one of those long games like uh, like Yakuza. But I, I hope I will be. I'm going to try my best to. At least my, my goal is to be able to do so. We'll have to wait and see, right? Oh, gee. Not going well. I still gotta get some of the Yakuza games done. I'm still missing four, five, and six. They're so long. It is a cool map. I quite like the structuring of it. The hills and stuff. It reminds me of the Battlefront map, but oh, that's some bad tree loaded in the back there. The trees are all loaded, but there's no like environment below them. Funny. Hmm. Surprised they didn't push us back. That's going on there. I'm gonna have to play that Resident Evil demo. I don't know if other people saw that, but Resident Evil Reverse or something was available this weekend. Rain. <laughs> We're in the same spot now. We gotta just defend this area again. But now they have a train, right? Oh. So it changes everything. Can I jump on the train? <gasps> I'm on the train! The death train. I died on the death train. So that's why they call it a death train. It's a train of death. And we battle. The death train's retreating, guys. We're winning, I think, right? That's what that means. Oh, shot me there. Incredible turnaround energy for coverage. Oh, thank you. I hope you enjoy the stuff that I do. Um, well, your videos, but you. Uh, how did I get into this? Well, uh, you know, I've I've done the the review stuff for a long time. I've done videos for a long time, but I, I just recently kind of found, you know, that this video setup seems to be working well for me, because I've done videos on YouTube for a long time, but I never really fully took advantage of it like I am now, and I, I really should have earlier, but, you know, you learn a lot over time on how to get things set up, and, uh, you know, you just kind of do one thing, and then you find a float into it, and you just kind of keep doing it, 
Um, like I said, I, I've done like reviews, like written wise, mostly in the past, but yeah, I moved more and more to video stuff right now because that's like, um, you know, financially it's a lot better. Written stuff is kind of worthless almost, which is bad, but you know, the video stuff seems to be where it where it's at and it's growing well, so I just kind of keep at it. But I just kind of got into it. Uh, just doing it. I mean, I, I wanted to, so I did it, and I just kept working at it, and yeah. Kind of how it's gone, I guess. There's a desire to review stuff, do write, like written write-ups, and then share some video content, because I always like sharing videos of or the gameplay of what I was doing, and it's kind of evolved that way. Yeah, I think it's been going decently well thus far. March was crazy. It's, it slowed down a little bit the last couple days, but, you know, YouTube, that's kind of the beast of it. It goes up and it goes down and it goes up and down and up and... It's actually been pretty even, though, for a while, so I don't complain too much, I guess. Can't always expect ever-expanding orders and stuff. Like most capitalist businesses expect to, which is always funny, but yeah. Old Fire Junction Bridge. That sounds like a dangerous area. And if you're wondering about the streaming, uh, it's kind of been doing it more and more because it seems to be working quite well. Although I don't think the Chief stream last night was as hyped, and I don't think this one was quite as killer as the Battlefield 5 stream. But we'll keep doing more different games because you know I like the variety. And it's kind of fun to share them off and you know communicate with people. I think it's a good connecting point and something a little bit more interesting to do than just hammering away videos all the time, right? Ah, that did not work. I wanted to charge him and stab him with a bayonet. Did not work. Oh, I've arrived! The botchy got me! I don't specifically know what we're doing here. Like, we were, you know, kind of so well set on holding those last positions that I'm totally out of the phase of running around and discovering new areas to fight in. Let me between this tree. There we go. Yeah, I got the flank yet. Yeah. I can get up here. Oh, this is a good spot. I like this. If only I can capture the position from here. Yeah, you can see me. That's my good. That guy sees me. Is he on the roof or where is he? Oh, he's on the rock back there. That's not good. Oh, he's got an MG too up there. Oh yeah, that guy is probably just gonna like hammer people down. They try to get to that valley. We're defending, right? Oh, I don't want to spawn there. I think we're losing the forest guys. I'll have to call them the Lorax. <laughs> they won't know what hit him. By that tree. The hunter's cabin. I can't believe we're fighting in a war over a hunter's cabin. We have lost objective Charlie. That guy didn't die? Man, that sucks. Okay, let's keep battling. On the battlefield. Yeah, this, this is one of those moments where I just kind of feel like there's so much going on that I'm not really doing a whole lot in the battle. It's a weird sensation that I get from these Battlefield games, you know? I don't know quite how to describe it. I don't know how to describe it perfectly. I feel almost lost, as to say. Because we were holding that one spot, I had a good flow going, and now we're in a totally different area. Let me up! Nope, I'm going down. I can get a revival on that guy. That's teammate. That's a bad guy, and that is also a bad guy up there. But, well, I almost have him down. Your Ethernet cable unplugged? That sucks. Think about getting like a dragon. So that one is... I didn't like that Yakuza game as much. I like the beginning of it, but then it gets to a certain point where it's like super grindy and repetitive. And there's this like one dungeon that's just like the most blandest out of place dungeon I've ever seen in a game. It's just like boring empty rooms that you go through. I didn't quite get that. Like, the cast of characters is great. I think you could play, like, 20 hours of it and have a really good time. And it's just the latter half of it that's just not fantastic. At least I feel so. But just keep that in mind. It's cool, but you gotta really grind through the latter part of it. 
the variety is what drags you in. Uh, well, I'm glad, glad you like the variety and stuff. You know, for the streams and that, I, I get a lot of comments where people are like, I like the different types of games and stuff, so... Hopefully the, the streams and that continue to grow and we can do different things and stuff like that. How did I get Sky Captain 5? Um, the lol part of it? I did not want the lol part in it for a long time, because there's another channel that's just Sky Captain 5, so I finally was able to switch. I still don't have, like, the specific URL domain of SkyCap5, I just have the channel domain. It's, it's slightly different on, on YouTube, it's, it's weird to describe, but... Uh, yeah, I wanted to drop that one for ages, but SkyCap5 is just like, it was my RuneScape name. I don't quite know how I got into it, but I know for 5 it was because, um, you know, just regular Sky Captain was taken, so I went with 5. It's kind of, you know, like RuneScape so long, I just kind of... Going for Xbox, trying to come up with a a name for my Xbox account, I was just like, well, I'll just use the RuneScape one. And, yeah. I think it's from when I was, like, literally six or something like that when I made it on RuneScape. I can't be 100% sure on that, but it was, it's very old. It's from whenever I made my RuneScape account when I was little. Which might actually be, like, really old at this point. I think RuneScape is turning, like, 20 soon or something like that. I don't know, I'm crazy there, but... Yeah, I hope that kind of explains it. Well, the best I can from what I remember, right? Because it was super long ago. You know, Kane, there's never a never a spawn on you when I when I want one, you're always so elusive, I don't seem to get the spawn on you. It's a fire guy over there. I'm so glad I got that achievement though. I definitely didn't think I was getting an achievement in this stream. Hmm. Pushing on a battlefield one. That was earlier when I stabbed the fire guy in the back. Yeah, I should have not run to the front line as a medic. That was stupid. That was asking for death. Reminder, guys, we are cutting off here at a certain time so that I can watch the rest of my show tonight. So there's still 20 minutes to go at this current point. Hope everybody has fun until then. Oh, that's not a good one, but it is fun. I'll take it. He's always living on the edge. That's, that's why his spawns are dangerous. Okay, that, that did not work out. He's got a field gun right on the hill. It's a, it's a strong vantage point though, right? It's slightly elevated. Everybody's gonna walk over there. I think I need to maybe like hold back a little bit and just kind of wait till they come here because any sort of advancement I try to make is just like met by instant death. Can we get around here? I don't know if we can... Is there like a map? Let's... No, that's that's the wrong direction. That's not... We can't flank around. That's a teammate. Okay, he's on the dirt. They're coming from the Hunter's Cabin, so if I, if I sit up here, maybe I can get some of them to try to enter this area. You don't know where they come from. Do they come from here? Oh, jeez. Yeah, they do. Well, I burned that guy a bit. Is he gonna die? No, he's, he's just hurt. It's not killing him. Ugh, but yeah, I like the, the lol change. It was it was very minorly noticed. I actually had to check in with PR companies to make sure that uh, changing the name on the channel wouldn't cause any issues and stuff. They had to email people about it, which was kind of humorous. Because believe it or not, like, naming and stuff matters when you're getting, like, sent things and people are reaching out to you. Only got four health? Damn. Oh, come on. He ran around the ledge and just shot me there? Unbelievable. It, I mean, Battlefield 6 will come to Game Pass eventually. It's just a question of whether or not it comes day one. I mean, even if it uh, doesn't come on Game Pass day one, you still get a 10 hour trial through EA Play, so. You know, still kind of there day one. <laughs> But I think that could make the game very big if it does launch on Game Pass. Oh god. A fresh cable in. Now you're getting all the downloads, aren't you? Super fast, super speedy. Must be nice. Must be nice. See, sometimes it's just your cable that slows you down. Whereas here in Canada, it's just the horrible internet infrastructure. And it's some of the most expensive in the world, and yet still the worst. 
One of the worst, sorry. I think we're like the fifth worst. Uh, I do not like the setup here. We are just like... I don't know. I feel like I'm not killing anybody. It's not fully subset. Did we win? We won, guys. I think. I think we won the battle. We did it. I love the floating trees in the far back, though. Those, those always kind of... a chuckle. Where are we fighting now? One can only speculate what might have Do we get to go to the houses in the countryside? That looks lovely. The Japanese internet. Isn't Korea where they've got like super great gigabit everywhere? I think it's there. But no, it's, it just should be interesting to see what they do this year, you know? It's, it's a big anniversary for Xbox, I hope they do something for that. Lots of games coming, I, it should be a good year, I think. Pretty exciting, mm, yeah. Operation over? But what do we do now? We conquered hell. Pretty happy about that, guys. It's not easy to conquer hell. It's a vast place of darkness and sorrow. See how this next battle goes, or where we end up. There's no rumors tonight. Let's see if I can go get my Pokemon Go dailies while I'm waiting for this thing to load. Oh, I forgot to claim for the 8th? Man. Man, it's not like the weeklies give you anything good anyways, I guess. Best squalls. Harry. Good for them. So we go back to the forest. I always thought that was weird. It's like you've won the battle, but we're sending you right back into the forest. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Why do we gotta wait like 40 seconds to get into this? That's so bizarre. I guess I can take this time to show off my library of games, because I always love doing that. Got some new ones to do. That's what I was talking about, the Resident Evil demo thing. I want to do a video on that. Looks interesting. Yeah, the full library. Oh, did I get something new on top of the download? Oh, it's because I deleted the Noxy. Yes, 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 that's why. Do I have a washer or dryer? Yes, we have a washer and dryer. It's weird to go somewhere to do washer and dryer. Yes, you can add me on Pokemon Go. Surprised you haven't already. Sometimes I post it on the YouTube just so I can get some of my friends added to it. Now you gotta get those points. Oh, we're doing mountains! Monte Grappa. Oh, this looks hellish. But not as much as the hellish forest. Apparato brought to this. The Habsburg invaders. Okay, that's good. There's a backstory here. 20th anniversary for. For RuneScape was January 4th. Oh, well, they do like a whole year of celebrating usually. I don't know. I don't think I'm quite as into them or into their graces as I was uh, last anniversary where they sent me like a nice crystal. Beautiful crystal. Nice glass. Again, if you guys see the 50,000 subscriber video, I, I drink out of that glass for the first time. Majestic. Alright, let's do the mounds, guys. This is one of my favorite. Well, that's good to know. Post my friend code. I'll have to send it to you after because I don't know where to grab it. I don't really want to type it in <laughs> right now. Well, it's Kane's favorite map, guys. Let's see if this is cool or not. If it's a bad map, we'll be very judgmental. I mean, I've probably fought on it before, I just don't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, this was, uh, I think this is where I did my video when I did my, like, uh, review of this. Oh, no, Hibachi, I want to get on the side. Come back. No. I want to be on the side, call it. Yeah, I think I did my review video on this portion here. I'm gonna be the flame guy though, guys. I'm gonna burn him out. This Kane in his lame tank. Lame Italian tank. I don't even think I'm gonna get to burn anyone. I'm gonna like die before we even get up there. It's like a lone juggernaut running into the battlefields. Do I have like extended health or something? Burn 
Burned him alive! Burned him alive! <laughs> I am the pyromaniac. I don't think there's anyone else out there. Anybody else want to come in? We've taken the sector already? Wow, that was fast. <gasps> grenades! So many grenades! No! I don't get to burn more people! We have taken the sector. Hmm. Back with the tendies. That's funny. Okay. Oh, Kane's still in his little- never mind. Not in his- there he deployed on was killed. That's funny. I'd go in the plane, but I know I'm terrible, so I'm not gonna do that. Hmm, I thought that place would get more crumbled, but we, we just took it. We took it fast. Ah, this music's epic. You guys hearing this? Damn. Open the- like, it took so goddamn long to open the door, I got shot in the back there. Blame on. Yes, if I was only the torch, am I right? Is there that much of a delay? Make sure you guys watch live and stuff. Like, these metrics matter, too. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the live metrics do impact things. I think that guy's stabbing somebody there. Stab someone? Oh. I shall revive you, Bashi. Whoa, that's, that was a crazy grenade. This is a lovely view back there. It looks like the Rockies a little bit, but looks like we're in a bit of an Italian campaign. Yo, there's a bomber that crashed right here. That's crazy. Stab, 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 stab! <laughs> I love the bayonet charge. Oh, you had to be on Xbox. Nice, nice. Welcome. Now you can see all of the weird things I'm doing on it. That spawn up there, nice. Kane's delivering on the spawn today. I just love how there's a crash bomber here, though. I find that hilarious. Are we? Oh, we're taking this. Let's, let's capture A, guys. Tank rolling in. F6 with Unreal 5. Uh, why would you want Unreal? Battlefield has its own, like, DICE uses the Frostbite. I think this is gonna be Frostbite 4 they're doing, or Frostbite 5? Whatever it is, it's apparently the next generation of Frostbite, and I think at the next EA Play event, which is their E3 streamed event, they're gonna be showing off the new Frostbite engine. So it's, it's apparently gonna be an incredible upgrade, and it's also gonna be tuned for lots of different platforms. They can port stuff to, like, Switch and that. The first instance of Frostbite was uh, Plants vs. Zombies that I did a video on not too long ago. Yeah. So there's always a pretty big delay. Yeah, that's that's more YouTube than, you know, anything I do on there. I think I could control it, like, I can make the delay less, like, the less latency, but then the visuals of the, the stream, like, go down a lot or something like that. The whole list of options. I just hope it's not an issue if we go to do like a Jackbox stream. Ow, 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 fire. Gal gun returns. Hey man, I'm all about Dead or Alive, the uh, the volleyball one. That's Dead or Alive Extreme 2, man. Never forget. <laughs> what was it, on PlayStation I got uh, Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. I downloaded that one to do a video on because I think that'd be funny. <laughs> It's actually like a pretty good shooter. I was uh, pleasantly surprised when I reviewed that one the first time, but I don't know. I try different games. I just like playing games mostly, so I'll try all kinds of weird stuff. Stab. 
stab this guy. I like how I have to like, I stab him and then I stab a little bit deeper because the first stab wasn't enough. I killed him but I had to overkill his ass, right? Oh, whoa, there's a lot of bad guys here, jeez. Oh man, that, that did not go over well at all. Let me do the numbers, I gotta get five hours into the Dude. Okay. Okay, ow, 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 I'm getting shot up. I've been promoted. Sergeant Four, nice. And uh, since it's been a while, guys, be sure to uh, like the stream then. And questions and stuff are great. Make sure you get those in there, because, you know, we are coming close on our time. Whoa! Kane, man, you got blown sky high there. We're capturing Girardi Stable. Good for us. Anybody need a medic pack? Oh, I got blown up through the wall. That's crazy. Yeah, there's a lot of red guys coming out there from B. I think we got a bit of a push going on. It's actually kind of interesting to see the people fight like ants. It's kind of entertaining to see the battlefield from that perspective. Chase him down, guys. I don't know how that one guy is not dead. Like, we're all shooting at him like crazy. Act he's still going on, just this is wild. We have secured the sector. Is somebody yelling? Are they bayonet charging? <laughs> Take the hill! Didn't we do this exact map on, like, Battlefield 5? Or did we do it earlier in the stream today? Like, I remember doing this exact location. I feel like we've done this before, like, really recently. Like, I'm, yeah, I think we did this at the beginning of the stream. I don't know if anybody's been watching that long, but... Hmm. Rin Gallery. This is a gallery? Oh, a garbage gallery. Do I still play Vigor? Uh, not really. I mean, I've done, like, you know, I've played it on all the different platforms for videos, but I don't really play it casually. Yeah. Sexy Wink. <laughs> oh, funny. I just love the one joke where it's like I've got the. The Xbox onesie on doing the seductive poses. Gotta get that OnlyFans, you know, you gotta get that extra currency in there. Paying the bills. Only Sky Fan. <laughs> oh jeez. Okay, we are taking this position. Oh jeez. Okay. Health for you, health for you. Let's see where we're headed here. There's a guy right there, man. Are you not even playing or something? <gasps> Kane's fallen and he can't get up? Well, I'll help him. Stab of my needle. Service star, nice. That's when you know you're contributing, when you get those stars. See if we can take this position. <laughs> I can just burn it there. Trying to open the door. Why can't I open that door there? Oh man, did I, what did I get killed by? Oh, there's somebody behind me. That makes sense. Oh, hello there. Going in with the cool sunglass emoticon. We don't use emoticons enough in this chat, guys. There's not enough hype. We weren't even able to bring in a guy that does a bunch of random comments into the stream. He must have taken a day off. 
<laughs> Random comments guy. Eden's going up the side here. Gonna medic are you, Keen? Leaving the guy dead on the side. It's like he's not even being a medic to save lives. Oh, god, I'm dead. That hurt. Only my medic teammate could save me with his syringe. It does not look like that is the case. See if we can take this position. We're taking the San Rocco turret. Whatever that means. Jeez, that is some crazy explosions going on here. Ugh. Powerful gun. We're all the way over there? Damn, that's pretty far. Some impressive shots for World War One. You're a combat medic. Oh my bad. Totally forgot. See there we go. Now that now that you're throwing in the emotes, guys. One of these times we'll have a stream and we'll only go for emotes. Everyone will just have to use the emoticons. The wildest stream ever. I'll have to decipher what people are asking by the emotes. It'd be delightful. Oh jeez. Ugh. Come, oh. medic. That's that's funny. Have we taken this bunker yet? Like, I feel like we've taken it because we've, you know, captured the position. But like, are there still people down there? Okay, blow up left, right, and center. Yeah, right, we're gonna do one more charge, then, and then we're gonna end it, guys, because we're we've hit our time allotment for the night. Don't worry, we will have more exciting streams in the future. Of course, if you want to see more gameplay and discussion, there were a few videos today, including the Crisis Remastered with the new update that added some content. Uh, Castlevania Lords of Shadow and Zombie Army Trilogy on uh, PlayStation 5 was also released uh, today if you want to go and watch those videos. But as soon as I die, we're uh, wrapped up on this one for tonight. Little assist? Unbelievable. That's a tank. And that is the end. Thank you for watching, everybody. It was a blast.